Welcome to the course on microwave remote sensing in hydrology. Myself, J. Indu, working as a faculty in the remote sensing division, which is part of civil engineering department at IIT Bombay. I am also associated with the interdisciplinary program in climate studies and the center for urban science and engineering at IIT Bombay. Now coming on to the course, this course as the name suggests shall deal with the microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum to understand how it complements the other spectral regions. In particular, the fundamentals of microwave remote sensing shall be studied through the active and passive remote sensing. We know that microwaves have the ability to penetrate clouds and even to penetrate the top few centimeters of dry soil and they also have all weather sensing capabilities. And it is for this reason that there are a multitude of applications unique to microwave remote sensing such as um, detecting oil spills, tracking the movement of ships through the arctic ice fields, uh, mapping inventory of crop types in the agricultural sector, biomass estimation, uh, examining precipitation, soil moisture, runoff, snow melt runoff, etc. The list goes on. But for this particular course, we shall be trying to examine applications pertaining to water resources engineering and hydrology. For example, how to process Doppler weather radar data to study about precipitation or how to deal with passive radiometer data to estimate soil moisture, etc. Now as the code goes, tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. So in compliance with this, we have designed this course in such a way that there will be a tutorial hands-on practical session wherein we teach you how to process microwave imagery using open source programming environment like Python and toolboxes like SNAP. Um, now prior expertise or experience with any kind of programming environment is not considered mandatory to attend this course because we start with the very basics of installation, basic commands and then walk you through how to handle different data types of microwave images such as uh, the passive radiometer data and the active radar data. The overarching aim of this course is for any attendee to be comfortable with understanding and deciphering the microwave imagery to handle complex scientific problems in the field of hydrology which requires extensive training. So all in all, let me wish you a productive learning. Thank you.